Well, welcome back. Um, this is part two of the uh, VF1000F carburetor installed on the VF1000R. Now, I've been posting uh, uh, updates on, on part one, but I figure out I'm going to do uh, another video for part two. Why am I doing it? I don't see any, I, I don't, there's nothing on the internet that shows uh, this type of install. I'm sure it's been done, but to actually uh, to see it uh, being done, um, I don't, I couldn't find anything. Um, so, I'm only doing it because, um, as everyone knows, these bikes are pretty rare. Um, they were only uh, imported uh, in 1985 and 1986 for a total of 10,000. Um, how many is left now? Maybe 25 percent. I don't know. You know. Uh, but um, what I'm, what I'm the, the updates are posted. Like I said on on uh, part one, um, where I left off is um, I um, installed the 150 uh, slow jets or main jets uh, from the dyno jet kit, and um, had just a little bit of hesitation to lower RPMs. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to install 145s all the way around, all four carburetors, and we'll see how that goes. I'm pretty sure that that's going to be the ticket because uh, it really ran good with the, um, uh, the stock setup of the 1000F carburetors, uh, which is uh, 150 in the front and 145 in the rear, uh, main jets. So now we're going to do 145. Hopefully we won't have to go any lower than that because the, the bike is really running in top condition. It's pretty much a rocket ship like it should be. Um, I've got, I've, it, it returned a lot more power uh, with these um, F carburetors. Not to say that uh, the F carburetors are it. Uh, my R carburetors weren't the time. They needed to be rebuilt. So rather than uh, rebuilding them, I just uh, I ended up getting a set of carburetors off of eBay that were already professionally cleaned. Um, they were the one. They were the F. Actually, the guy sent me the wrong ones. But after receiving them and looking at the condition that they were in, I mean, they were clean inside and out. I, I just couldn't see uh, sending them back and getting getting the right carburetors or the right R uh, carburetors, which were also um, in the same condition as these. Just, I wanted to get this, this, this project going. I wanted to get rolling, so uh, I kept them. And of course, if he would have emailed me back saying, hey, I sent you the wrong carburetors, then, you know, hey, we would have worked something out. I'm sure that uh, um, he wouldn't have a problem with keeping the car. So um, I started doing some research. Yeah, you can do it. Uh, but like I said, I, I, don't, I don't see any, anything on YouTube that shows you uh, actually doing it. So in this part two, so uh, shall we begin? As you can see, I have uh, taken off the tank, the crow, the rear cowl, um, and exposed the um, air filter box and the coils. So the coils that was not stock coils; those were dyno coils. By the way, um, I'm still not done with that. I'm still trying to track down uh, the uh, dyno coil brackets. What I did is I fabricated uh, uh, some type of brackets on there, but uh, uh, until I do, until I find them on eBay, it's, they're, they're, they're good for now. It works, it's all that counts. Um, here I'm going to uh, pull the box off, the air box off, and the coils. Uh, I got to get to that rear back um, valve cover because I'm going to uh, repaint it. It's, it's way overdue. So this is where uh, I'm at right now. So let me take that off and expose the carbs. All right, now that we've taken all the screws out of the air box, we're gonna pull it out. Now, sometimes this can be a pain in the ass pulling it out, but you know what? You just pull it out just like, you just need it. You know, don't baby it, pull it right out. There she goes. Okay, well I've loosened the boots, loosened the carburetors, disconnected the choke, and in this demonstration I'm just going to turn the carburetors upside down. Uh, normally I just pull the whole thing out, but you know, I'm just going to be replacing the jets, so um, I don't really, it's not really necessary to take it out, but 
It's a lot easier to work on when you do that. And I've, pulled, I've had these carburetors pulled out so many times, it's just like another day at the office here. So I'm turning them upside down, and there we go. I got gas leaking, but that's, like I said, I got some towels there to catch the gas. I guess you got it all the time. Okay, there we go. Now we're catching it all. And anyway, now as I was explaining in part one, this right here is the idle adjuster. Can we see that? No, we can't. Oh, yeah. I'll back up. Okay, here we go. This right here is the idle adjuster here that uh, does not, this is the idle adjuster I was talking about, uh, this is on the arm model, it comes out to the side here and then it's on the left hand side of the, of the motor, it's, uh, VF1000F has this one here, which is easy to get to on the F model, uh, but not on the arm model, you got the housing under there, anyway, I'm just going to pull off, Tilt this a little bit up this way. I'm just going to pull off one of these covers here just to give you an idea of how to change the jet if you don't know how. You're unscrewing the bottom of the bolt. Really not that hard. Like I said, it's easier to do it off the bike. That way you can get all the gas out of it. Otherwise it gets all over your engine like it did if you don't have any covers underneath there. But anyway, there we go. That exposes the uh, bowl. It just unscrew off. There we go. Now, the 145, I'm sure it's the 145, yep. Pretty simple, guys. And you don't have to really tighten it, tighten it down, just put it on there nice and snug. That's it. And then you just put the uh, bowl back on. Oh. And then screw it back up, and we're done. I won't go and do all the other ones on on film, but I will just. This is you get an idea of what I'm talking about. So now we got everything back on. You know, Jesus. One of the best ways that I know how to get these damn carburetors back on is throwing some grease on the manifold and on the inner, just lace the manifold or uh, uh, rubber boot uh, with some grease and uh, usually it, it goes in pretty smoothly. So if, you know, it's a V4 man, it's going to give you problems no matter what, but uh, uh, usually that works for me. So everything's back on, valve cover is painted. Uh, new valve cover gasket sure does look a lot better than what it did before. That's for damn sure. Oh, uh, now I'll just throwing back the uh, air box and uh, uh, coils, and we'll see what happens after that. Give it a try. Give it a fire up. And the end results. The valve cover came out better than I expected. I wasn't really trying to uh, make. It Perfect. Um, just get rid of the. Just clean it up, and it cleaned up. So there you go. That's everything back on. All right, there she is. She's back together. In case uh, some of you don't know what I'm working on, that's what I'm working on right there. It's a VF 1000R with VF 1000F carburetors. So now it's just a matter of uh, firing it up and see how she takes. So I'm going to set this thing down and go from there.
start the uh, procedure. Thank you. 